Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Kanisha. I am back with another video with my family. We are away for the week, this time in South Carolina. I believe if you change your surroundings, you can change your perspective, change your mindset, change your mood. So I like for my family for us to switch it up and we go different places month by month. Um, since I work from home and my son schools virtually and he's seven. So that's our routine. So I am here with another review on the three bags that I brought with me for this trip. And I am starting to get it down to a science, my packing. So I packed one suitcase for myself last time. We went to Ashland, New Hampshire for a week, and I packed a duffel bag for each of my kids. I have two kids, and my husband packed his own duffel bag. Um, this time, I packed one suitcase for myself and my two kids. I got everything into one suitcase. And then I, my husband packed his own duffel bag. So the bags that I'm going to review are my purses. So I'll start with my laptop bag, my carry it from Louis Vuitton. I really enjoy this bag. I have some pictures that I will link into this video for you to see how it looks on me and my frame. I'm 5'8". And as you can see, pretty tall and skinny. I've always been that way. They have a term for it called ectomorph. Ectomorph. But then it takes me back to xenomorph. You ever watch Aliens? The alien is a xenomorph. It's my favorite movie. That's why I remember that. But when I learned that, I think the term for people like me who are tall and skinny are ectomorphs. That's what it made me think of, like, am I an alien? Who cares? So this is my carrot. I adore this bag. I have my mouse in here. And you could see it's so skinny. I love the skinny profile. I have three chargers in here. You would never know it. And my personal laptop. And then my work laptop. My notebook. Personal laptop. Charger and a few pens that I kept in side these patch pockets here. I have another patch pocket. I don't put anything in that one. And then I have a another pocket that has nothing in there. I have a D-ring. I really like this bag. It's a little dirty right now. I don't even know how it got dirty like that. Ugh. At least I can clean it easily by taking out the lining, which I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna pack all this stuff back in there because I'm gonna clean this bag when I'm done recording this video. I guess you can start to see one of my uh, quirks coming out. So I have had my carry it for about a year and I adore everything about it. The size is and the depth is perfect to carry my laptops. I had a Neverfull and I sold it. I got rid of that because I did not care for many features on that bag. Starting with, yes, the Neverfull is everywhere. 
Um, the main, that's not the main reason why I didn't like that bag, but it, it wasn't something that was attractive about the bag to me either. Um, I just really didn't like that bag. I just really didn't like the open top, the wide top and the narrow bottom. I could never understand that bag. And then I think what really sealed the deal for me to, to get rid of that bag was I just don't care for open top bags, I don't think. I really like the zipper. And if you have a Louis Vuitton bag and you hear their zippers, it's like butter. And they are just really substantial, really good quality. I do like the straps. They are like the Neverfull. Mines are still pretty much brand new. And I put this bag in the window to tan the Paquetta leather so that if I was caught out in the rain, it would be somewhat protected, but um, I'm pretty careful with my bags and pretty observant of the weather. So I try not to be caught. So this is a made in France item. I like the hefty detail of the zipper. And the canvas is, this is a pretty, this is a thicker feel. I enjoy the feel of the canvas. All right, moving on to the Odeon MM. I added one of my luggage tags, an extra luggage tag. That one's from my Graceful, and then this tag came with the bag. I really enjoy this bag. Made in France. Last time I brought this bag to New Hampshire, I had shown you the strap that came with it. This time I am showing a different strap because this is actually how I like to carry this bag with this strap and I'll tell you more about it. One of my favorites. So this bag, I really enjoy the chain strap with this bag because even on the shortest length with the strap this bag comes with, it was still a little bit too long for me. I like a shoulder bag. I like a hobo bag. And when I was using my Graceful um, MM, that's the right hobo sh shoulder strap and the right strap drop length. Um, but for whatever reason, I feel like the, the width of that bag is a little wider sometimes than what I would like. And then I end up carrying more things sometimes than I would like. So this is the perfect size bag for me. I don't over carry anything in here. Um, and I can carry everything that I need. And then this chain is from a bag that I sold um, called the Biface. It was... It came out a couple of years ago and it was beautiful. I loved the caramel color, but I didn't use it often. I, I can't stand buying things for a lot of money and not getting any function out of it. That's just not what I'm about. If I'm gonna spend money on something, I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna use it. And I really liked the look of that bag. I think that's what drew me in, but it's not what's gonna keep me. So I got rid of it and I sold it to Fashion File, but I kept this chain and I got a good deal for it. 
Um, and I am so glad because I got a good deal for selling that bag and I had wanted to keep this chain because I knew it was the perfect strap drop one and it is. So I love this chain for this bag, which is the perfect width. And now I have the perfect strap drop and I'm just really happy. This is probably one of the best bags out there in my opinion for me. So let me show you what's in my purse. I've got my one of my kids face mask, headphones, and I've got the Belkin connector because I've got the old school headphones and the new school headphones, but I'm not getting rid of my old school headphones yet because headphones cost $34 and let me tell you I've got a list of things that I hate to spend money on if I don't have to because I like to spend money on other things okay enough said and then I had some business cards in here another face mask those, those are the times we're living in all right Inside my bag, let me show you what is in here. All right, let's get into it. In my pocket in this bag, there's a receipt, tea, mint tea and peppermint tea. I love tea. And then I have, so this is the little case that came with the carry it. This case is like the never full case and it came with this bag, my carry it. And It's red inside, which I love. Love the red so much. Got a face mask in there, a gift card, cash. I love these. They're like a kid snack that I eat. Craisins. My gift card case. Mini pochette. Mini pochette. Some gum. Mm -hmm. What else? Hand sanitizer. Migraines. Eye drops. Be by the juicy. Mm. Be by the juicy. House keys in there. Giraffes. Because they're so fun. And they're pink. My favorite color. So let's see. And then my Eva. I carry this everywhere. And because it fits in everything. So if I wanted to put it into my carry it, which I have, but I don't really use this bag as a purse. But I have. This is what it looks like. So, just like this silhouette of this bag. And I don't like to carry a lot anyway. And I like to get a lot of functionality 